Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will create this head sculpt using different modeling and sculpting tools in Blender. I have tried to keep it simple and easy to follow. So let's start. First, we will make the rough block out and we will then start refining it. Select the default cube and press Ctrl 3 to add a 3 level subdivision. Apply this modifier. This will be the base of our head. Right click and select smooth shade. Now duplicate the head object and move the new copy above on the side. We will be using this for the ears. Scale this object and position it on the top left side. Now add a mirror modifier and select the head cube as the mirror object. Next press shift D to create a duplicate copy. Right click as you move the copy to snap it back. Now move it to the front. This is going to be the nose part. Scale it down a little and position it on the front lower side. Shift D again to create another new object and position it on the top side of the nose. Now select everything and move it above the grid. Next we will add eyes. For this press shift A and select a UV sphere. Use the default settings. Rotate this eye object by pressing R X 90. If I turn on the wireframe you can see all the points converge at one point. This mesh layout will be useful later when we apply different materials to create the eye shader. Scale it down and position the eye object above near the nose area. Add the mirror modifier and select the head in the object property to create the eye on the other side. I will be making small adjustments by moving down the nose and the eyes as well to define the overall shape. Before proceeding further, make sure to select everything Press Ctrl A for the transform menu and select transform scale. We will now add the multi-res modifier on the head, ears and the nose parts. Click the subdivide button in the modifier panel. Add 3 levels for the head, 2 levels for the ears and nose. Just don't go above 5 levels at this time because that will make the mesh too dense and may cause slowdowns during sculpting. Now in the front view, we will go into the sculpt mode by pressing Ctrl tab and selecting the sculpt option. The first brush that we will be using is the grab brush also known as the move brush which is useful for moving parts of the mesh. Press F, move the mouse to make it big, right click and keep the strength low. I'm using a value of 0.4. It gives better control when moving parts of the mesh. Now turn on symmetry from the top corner button along X axis so our sculpting changes are reflected on both sides. Now start moving points on the side of the head object to define the shape. During sculpting, to switch to any part of the model, for instance like ears, nose, hover the mouse over the part you need to sculpt on and press Alt Q. It will highlight and will become active. Now I will be using the grab brush to refine the shape of the ear. The ear on the other side is not visible because we have used a mirror modifier and it gets disabled during sculpting. Next, select the nose part. Make sure symmetry option is enabled. Now we will start building the shape of the nose. Again, I am using the grab brush and simply moving the parts of the object to get the right shape. Keep making small adjustments as needed.
Now we are going to sculpt some space for the eye sockets. In the sculpt mode, first select the mask brush. Increase the strength to 1. Turn on symmetry. I am going to turn off the eye object in the outliner so we can see the mask result better. And draw over the mask area to darken it more. One thing you may notice if we rotate the view, the mask or the sculpt result becomes low resolution. To remove this effect, in the top corner options menu, uncheck fast navigate. It is a useful feature when you have a very high resolution model, but in our case we can keep it off. Once you have the eye mask ready, we will invert the mask. For this, press Ctrl I. We will use the inflate brush to sculpt smoothly in the eye area. Select this brush and change the strength to 1. Increase the brush size as well. Press Ctrl and while holding the left mouse button, start sculpting. After the eye socket sculpting is done, press Alt M to clear the mask. You will see a smooth round area sculpted in it. If you see the nose part showing up in the eyes, then we can easily move it later. Now select the head object while holding shift, click the eye borders to smooth the edges of the eyes. Now we are going to sculpt in the mouth part using the same mask technique. Make sure the head is active and then select the mask brush and draw the open mouth shape. To remove any mask area, you can also use control and draw over to refine the shape of the mask. Press control I to invert the mask, making the mouth area only editable. Instead of using the inflate brush, this time we will use the move tool at the bottom of the sculpting brushes. Click it and you will see the move control in the middle of the object. Go into sculpt menu and set pivot to unmasked. Drag the move tool inside to create the open mouth area. Alt M to clear the mask. If we zoom into the mouth area, you may notice some distortion of the mesh. To clean it up, we will simply increase the subdivide level in the multi res modifier to 4. With the grab brush, I will move some part of the nose inside of the head which is visible in the mouth. Continue making slight adjustment around the mouth area and the eyes. To add detail to the nose, I will now sculpting some nostrils. Again, select the mask brush. Invert the mask and simply use the grab brush and push the points up and inside. Make sure once you are done, clear the mask. If we want to make any bigger changes, for instance here I want to refine the shape of the mouth more, we can use the multi res modifier subdivision levels to jump between high or low levels for battle sculpting controls. You can use page up or page down or click the arrows in the modifier property. This feature of multi res modifier is very useful. I will do some more adjustments to the eye. Continue refining the shape of the head and mouth.
To add teeth in the mouth, we will add a UV sphere. Scale it down, position it in the mouth area. Add a mirror modifier with the head as mirror object. Press Alt D to create additional teeth parts. Scale them down a little more and change the positions in a slightly curved way. For the eyebrows, we will simply use a cube and subdivide it. Press Ctrl 4 to add a 4 level subdivision and apply this modifier. Add a mirror modifier as well. Position and rotate this object. Now add a multi res modifier as well. In the sculpting mode, you can use the grab brush and refine the shape as needed. Press shift alongside to smooth the sculpting result. Now we will sculpt in some fur strands. For this, with the head object selected, in the sculpt mode, select the snake hook brush. I am using a strength of 1 and symmetry is off so we can have some variation on both sides. Drag the brush to sculpt strands at different locations. The next steps are just additional adjustments to the shape, mostly with the grab brush. I will slightly speed up this part of the video as most of the steps are same. In certain areas you can also use the pinch brush to tighten the edges around the eyes and mouth. Switching over to the ears, use the mask brush to build the inner side. Here inverting the mask and pushing the points inside. Once we are done with the overall sculpting, Select all the objects, press M to create a collection and name this collection Blockout. The reason for this is we will be able to reuse it if we need it later. Since the next step is remeshing the model which is going to combine parts into one object and applying the modifiers. Duplicate this collection and rename it to Main Sculpt. Turn off the Blockout collection. Start applying all the modifiers in the ear and head object. We will join these two parts for now. To join, first select the ear and then shift click the head. Press Ctrl J to join them into one. If done correctly, when we move the head, ears will also move. Now add a remesh modifier. Our model may look low resolution at first. Enable the smooth shading option in the modifier. Then change the voxel amount to 0.01. You can try different values whichever you feel look right depending on your model. 
If we zoom into the area where ear and head connects, you will see that both parts are now seamlessly blending together. Apply the remesh modifier. Go into sculpt mode and press shift and start brushing over the area where the ear and head joins to smooth it out more. Make sure to turn on the symmetry so changes are updated on both sides. Use shift and click to smooth out different areas of the head. Use the snake brush again for some more detailing. The thing to keep in mind is that after joining and remeshing, you cannot move the objects individually as before. You will need to mask or use other techniques to make changes. So that is why it is usually good to do it in the end once you have prepared a blackout or overall shape of your model. Now for the long hair whiskers on the side of the head, we will use a curve object. So for this, shift A and in the curve menu, add a bezier curve. In the edit menu, select all vertices and press X to delete them. Now in the sidebar, select the draw curves tool. In the front viewport, start drawing a curve on the side of the head. Change the property for depth to a slightly higher value so you can see some thickness of the curve. In this way, add the remaining curves. And last of all, we will add a tongue object also. You can use any other similar object. We will use a cube. Add a 4 level subdivision with Ctrl 4, smooth shade it and place it in the mouth. From here you can continue adding details and refinements as you like. And this completes the first part of the tutorial. Sculpting is a big subject and there are many different ways to approach a certain result. In the next video, we will add colors to our sculpt using vertex paint, set up the eyes and refine the lighting for final presentation. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you would like to see more then please give this video a like, subscribe and turn on notification bell as well. Thank you very much for viewing and I will see you in the next video.